Data standards is really how we communicate across all platforms. We have traditionally siloed ourselves both by discipline and by our systems that we're using. So what we can do with the G10 or information from GLN, GDSN, is streamline what we're saying across those systems without having to depend upon heavy interfaces, heavy um, bureaucracy around how data makes its way through, heavy governance, but what it allows us to do is communicate consistently what the product is and continue to embody that product information with more information that can be used by the various disciplines and the execution and improvement of care. So what I'm seeing manufacturers and providers do more of is really communication. So uh, less communication around contracting and more communication around how we operationalize and become really synergistic in how we execute the overall work we do together. So from contracting to delivery, I think I'll hear a lot of manufacturers want to know how can I make your processes easier? How can I reduce the burden of what we do and deliver in a way that improves the overall outcome? Because we all came to the business of healthcare for the same reason, to improve the outcomes of patient care. From my suppliers, I need transparency. The integration between suppliers and providers really exists in the space of sharing pricing. I think consistency and collaboration around pricing, price transparency. I think information around the product and the information we need to actually execute from an operational perspective have been somewhat uh, tainted by how we're doing a lot of the work in the post-market surveillance and that arena. We are really making the data that we need heavier because we're using it in different ways than we've ever used it before. So to do things from an operational perspective, we need less information, but when you move to post-market surveillance and comparative effectiveness, you start adding things in, which I think has made the conversation around using UDI and communicating between each other much more challenging, but also creating an opportunity for, for more sharing of ideas. Mercy gets a lot out of the use of UDI. First of all, it creates, as I mentioned before, a common communication platform between supply chain, revenue, finance, and the clinical operations side. That's the first piece. The second is the ability to reduce really expir expiry product as well as recalls in our system. And I'd say third is the post-market surveillance. So a lot of the work we do with the FDA as well as Build Initiative, uh, Scan Health, all allows us to have a better picture of how the products we're using show up, how they're being used, and what the outcomes are. And really, again, I go back to the center of what we do is around patient care and how we transform that for the people we serve. The multiple device identifier issue continues to be a problem for us. When the same product shows up with multiple DI or multiple, P, multiple DIs, we struggle identifying those before they hit the clinical workflow. Um, so really disrupting that clinical workflow then starts a process or a chain reaction of problems backwards as well as forwards. So for me, that's one of the linchpins that caused the biggest problem. The other is uh, barcode proliferation on a product. So you see six barcodes on a product and you're walking it through the entire process who identifies what the right barcode is and how it gets consumed all creates problems for both supply chain and clinical operations, but in the end, really impacts the clinician the most. ARM has been a fantastic ally, both for providers uh, as well as suppliers. ARM's a huge ally in this space and uh, couldn't do what we're doing without them.